With students learning at school and at home, how is attendance this year? It's not just about counting seats anymore. School districts are now having to make sure students are logging on to class as well. And for the Abilene ISD, officials there say it's become somewhat of a problem as students struggle to stay engaged and turn in assignments. Our Jessica Rank diving deeper into the problem and the solutions the school district has come up with. It used to be as simple as waiting for the bell to ring and checking empty seats. But the pandemic has made taking attendance a little more complicated. Teachers now have to worry about students clicking the mouse and logging on. We are seeing some students struggle. Abilene ISD says remote learners are having a tough time showing up to class. It's been something that is, has been on our radar since the beginning. And Dr. Dan Duke says it's a bigger problem with the higher grade levels. We don't have as much control over our students when they are doing their work from their home location. We have to rely heavily on the students and their parents to, to really work hard. Dr. Duke says the absences can be related to a number of issues, including Wi-Fi, parent schedules, and misunderstanding of what's expected from the student. It's so different from what we did last spring. Last spring was just something to get us through till the end of the year. Um, it was not very rigorous at all, and so now you're having to do your entire school day from home. Things may look different as far as taking attendance, but dealing with absences is the same. It really at this point boils down to the individual family situation. That could include a later class schedule or even coming back in person. Where it gets a little bit tricky, and this is what we're currently working through, is if one option is not working for a family, the child is not being successful, the question becomes then what? The district may not have an answer to that yet, but they say the end goal is the same. The most important thing to us is that child receives a solid education. And that can't be done unless students are zooming in or walking through the doors. Now the school district says that more and more students are starting to head back to in-person learning. At the beginning of the school year, 26% had chosen to learn from home. It's now about 17%.